So we're gonna okay. do a little icebreaker before we start, which is a little game. We're gonna play, and it goes this way. So, you got your stickers on the, on on your desk? Yes. My name is Kim. I am Pretty Kim. So now you need to give yourself with your name something. So to maybe be Zoe. Zoe, what what um name would you put in front of your name? Beautiful Zoe. So do you all, have you all thought of a name for you already? You know what your name is, but have you all thought of a descriptive name? Word. Mm. So I'm pretty Kim. Who are you? So you can go ahead and you write down. Okay. Okay, Rahul, you can, you can tell me where you. You can stand. Smart Rahul. Smart Rahul. And now? We see three pictures over here, am I correct? Yes. Okay. So on your own, just try to tell me. What do you think is happening in the story by just looking at the picture? But now I don't want you to tell me. Mm. You're gonna tell me, but you're first gonna brainstorm it in your group. So you're going to write it on a strip. You're gonna and you and your group are gonna discuss what do you see on the picture. So one person in the group will decide who's going to write what the group has decided. The first You and your group discussed what do you think the story is about. Now we need someone to come and give feedback in your group on what you guys decided on what the story is all about. We're going to start by group number one. Do you have your person that's going to give feedback? Can you can read fast first if you want to. You want to read all of that? Okay, that's correct. Guys. Our last group, group number seven. Oh, you are quite small. Can you see clearly? Okay, okay. So she said that the lion was shouting for help. You guys now thought about what the story is about by just looking at the picture. So who can tell me? Just by looking at the picture, so you made your own? Prediction, am I right? Yes, yes. Okay, so just by looking at the picture that we had on over there, you guys came up with a lot of words to tell me exactly what you think the story is about. Now, what I want you to do is, just by the picture, I want you now to discuss and come up with a title that you would give the, um, your own story just by looking at the picture. Yes. So I want you to flip your page. Do you see there's a space on top? Yes. You may take your pencil now and write the title that your group have decided. Group number one, can you, can, can you tell me which title you came up with? <laughs> the mouse saved the lion. Your title? Can you just read your title out for me? And I said clear. The big lion and the little mouse. The big lion and the little mouse. Okay, group number four. Jenna? The Helpful Mouse. The Helpful Mouse. Very interesting titles. Mm. Okay, so now we're going to read the story. One day, two tiny grey mice were watching a huge, um, fierce lion sleeping in the sun. Run over his nose, said the one. See if he wakes up. Of course, the lion woke up and caught the mouse in his massive paw. Oh, please don't eat me, lion. One day I will help you. The lion laughed. And because he was not really hungry, the lion let the mouse go. Soon after that, the lion was running in the fall. Suddenly, he ran into a trap that men had made to catch a bug. Help! Help! He roared. Then the little grey mouse ran by. You didn't eat me last week, she said. I will help you. So the little grey mouse nibbled. Now I know that even little animals can help big animals like me. So now, in your group, I'm going to ask questions and you're going to answer. Do you think a little creature could help a big creature? And in which way? And you need to tell me why. Zara over there? 
So, do, can you tell me why do you think so? Because sometimes small animals can help big animals. That's good. Eh? Does the big lion size matter? Because the mouse helped the lion. We're going to do a little <coughs> practical activity. The activity that is called the feely activity and this is called the feely box. So I'm going to give each group one and then I'm going to explain afterwards what we're going to do. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So in your group, I'm going to demonstrate to you. But there's three questions before I'm going to demonstrate to you. You're not going to tell me what the item is because that's not what I want. Now remember, it's the feely box. I need to feel. You're going to describe to me basically what item or object you pick up. Now the three questions I'm going to ask is the first one. What is the texture? Now when I speak about texture, teacher Nadima can add that onto the word list. How does it feel, the texture? Is it soft? Is it smooth? Is it rough, right? Is it furry? The next question will be, what size is your object? Is it small or is it big? The third question is, which shape or what shape is your object? Right. So, I'm going to demonstrate to you and then you're going to do it in your group. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to look for an item. I'm not supposed to see, I'm just supposed to feel Liam. Can you see Liam? So you're choosing one item. Only one item. Okay, I've got an item. My texture, rough. Okay, so this is using rough. My item is small in size. The shape? The shape of my item, it's round. Okay, like a, cir like a like circle? Like a circle, yes. So who can guess what item is it? <laughs> Me add? Toilet paper roll. Toilet paper roll. Incorrect. Who can tell me? Sander? A tennis ball. It's a tennis ball. That's correct. Wow, <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> so, we're going to start by group number one. Group number one is going to feel, someone's going to feel, two people going to feel in group number one. It's what what is a small or big? Small. And so square. Is it maybe perhaps something you can eat? Okay, so you can remove your object. Let us see what it is. Oh, <laughs> the beans, <babe. laughs> the beans. That's why I said you could eat it. Okay. How do you feel? What's wrong? What size is it? It's a small, small thing. What shape? A square with a lamp. Is it something that you play with? No. Maybe she should show us. Show us what you want. Oh, oh, it's a block. It's a box. So now you're going to underline in blue your nouns. You're going to circle your adjectives in red. Here we go. So now we have two animals over here, and then we move from the story, the lion and the mouse. So now we're going to describe. First, we're going to start with the lion, and then we're going to move on to the mouse. The lion. Big lion. Big lion, for example. Okay, give me another one. Hungry lion. Brave lion. So we have four words to describe our lion. Let's move on to our to the mouse. Tiny mouse. Yeah. A knowing mouse. An annoying mouse. A silly mouse. Now, you have the animal card in front of you with the information about your animal that you have over there. So now you have to describe your animal in your group. You're right. You're right. You're right here. 